Shalom, it's GMS on it. Sit downs coming with a new video. Uh, to the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The honors to the elder apostles of GMS. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that's pushing this word of Satan and the truth. Today's video is going to be named Monstrous Demons and Spirits will haunt America and I will start reading at uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 17 where it goes into basically the plagues that came upon um, upon uh, Egypt <clears throat> so it says for great are thy judgments gone I just thought about another scripture. Let me put it in right away. Gone. For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have earth. For when the for when righteous slakya, for when unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation. Now who's the holy nation? Yasha Allah. He is the prince of power, the sons of Israel, the sons of Jacob, whose name was changed into Israel. That's his, that's the holy nation, the Negroes, Latinos, and Indianos. You know, even though we are compelled in, in wickedness, we are still the holy nation. We are still the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. And um, the thing is... Um, The thing is, um, the Heavenly Father is not down with people oppressing their um, his his holy nation. Man. The Heavenly Father will not keep silence. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will not keep silent, man. When 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 the holy nation is being oppressed, this is Zechariah chapter two verse eight. For thus said Yah for thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. Spoiled who? The Negroes, Latinos, and Indianos. For he had touched, uh, for he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. And that shows you that, um, the Negroes, Latinos, and Indianos are the apple of, uh, of the Heavenly Father's eye, man. The thing, uh, most close to him, the things, uh, the people most precious to him, you know? Verse 9, for behold, I will shake my hand upon them. And they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts had sent me. Gone, and they, they are gonna know, man. America's gonna know, these heathens are gonna know that the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had sent us these, these, um, demons that are gonna come upon uh, America, the elect. That's gonna fall upon America. They're gonna know, man, that it. This is the this this is the vengeance of of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, avenging the children of Israel. You know, so that's what it speaks about the the holy nation. Back in Wisdom of Solomon 17, verse two, for when unrighteous men had thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses. The prisoners of darkness and fed it with the bonds of a long night. Lay there exiled from the eternal providence. Let's look up that word providence. You know, and this is a plague that um, <clears throat> that uh, was haunting uh, Egypt, man. This is a plague that was haunting Egypt. When they uh, didn't want to let us go, uh, providence, foresight, prudent ant anticipation, divine providence, foresight, foreknowledge. And also, let me read it again. Um, Lay there exiled from the eternal providence, foresight of the things that was going to happen. Because it was going to be a long night, like it says. 
for street, for while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished, being horribly astonished because why they were seeing things they probably never saw before, man. They was being hunted and troubled with strange apparitions. Strange apparitions. Let's look up that word apparitions, man. Can't even find it. Let me let me type it. Apparitions. Basically, when you look it up, it says ghost gun. There you have it. Apparition. A ghost or ghost like image of a boat person. A remarkable or unexpected appearance. Unexpected. That's why it says they were uh, horribly astonished. If you are horribly astonished, you see something you never saw before, man. You know, a remarkable or unexpected appearance of someone or something. And basically, um, you know what I what I found when I was um, meditating upon this uh, this chapter, I found ghostly figure, ghostly figure or monstrous um, monstrous uh, figures. You know. Now let's see what what it gives us when we look up. Um, Images. You know? <laughs> this is the shit we're talking about here, man. Ghostly figures, apparitions. Ghostly figures, man. Monstrous. Faces. You know, y'all get the point. Ghostly figures. So it says, <clears throat> being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions, strange ghostly figures. You know? So they, they, they suffered forgetfulness and because they was, they was being astonished. They was, uh, uh, it was pure darkness surrounding them and, and, um, strange apparitions were, uh, were amongst them. Now it's gonna go even deeper, but before I go on, I wanna prove the point that I made that, um, basically what the title, what the video is all about. That these things that I'm gonna read about Egypt here right now are gonna fall upon America too. You know, and with that I'm gonna take this scripture. This is second Ezra 15, starting at 7. Therefore said Yahweh Shimeo Shah, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. You know, the wickedness of the world, man, the wickedness of Esau, the wickedness of the two thirds, the wickedness of which has to um, be, um, which has to be, um, how you say that, set straight with judgment, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cried unto me. The innocent and the righteous blood. And who's that talking about? That's talking about the, the people that believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. And how do we cry unto Yahweh Bashim Shai by praying, man? Instantly. We pray day, every day, day in, day out, until Yahweh Bashim Shai to please Baba Kasha, um, deliver us from this hellhole, man. Give us the strength to endure this wicked place. So behold, the innocent. And righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complained continually. So not only the, the the not only the living, but also the dead, 
are crying unto unto Yahweh by Shem Shai. Because here it says the, the the righteous blood cried unto me. You now speaking about the dead and the souls of the just complain continually, the living, you know, and therefore said Yahweh by Shem Shai, I will surely avenge them. I will surely avenge them. So Yahweh by Shem Shai is gonna avenge us, man, and not no stupid ass. Negro calling himself uh, two hearts. Yekko wekko, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yahoba Shim Shai is gonna avenge, man. Not your punk ass. Yahoba Shim Shai. Yahoo Shai is a true avenger, man. And therefore, said Yahoba Shim Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Come, seeing this, these, this uh, new um, uh, um, system is being set up called the New World Order. Seeing the, the, the New World Order agenda being pushed, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, you know, uh, martial law, race wars coming to pass. You know, martial, but martial law being pushed, the chip being implemented, seeing that my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, I will not suffer, meaning I will not allow them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Speaking about America, man. This is Revelation 18 and 11. Ah, Slakia. Um... Slakia. Revelation. Revelation chapter 18. Uh, Slakia, man. Which is the second one? I mean, Revelation 11, verse 8. <clears throat> this Revelation chapter eight, 11 verse 8, uh, verse 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified so America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified where um, where the image of Yahweh Shai was being changed to this false image. Um, um, this image of Yahweh Shai, our Lord, being changed to this deceiver, this punk ass. Caesar Bogier, you know, that's the that's the cru uh, crucifixion of of our Lord, man, you know. This this um, fake image has been pushed there. So here you see, America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So this is speaking about about um, America. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yahweh Bashim Shai is gonna deliver us from from these these places, man. From Babylon, from Egypt, from America, from under uh the, the power structure of um these heathens, namely Esau, the so-called white people. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. Meaning the Heavenly Father is going to deliver his elect, the people that cry, the righteous blood and the, and the, and the, the souls of the just that cry unto Yahweh Shimon Shai to deliver them. You know, he's going to bring, it's like, let me just read it, but I will bring them what I just said, the righteous, with a with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, 
and I will smite Egypt. I will smite Egypt, the land which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. I will smite America with plagues as before. So he will smite Egypt as with plagues as before. The the the, the Egypt speaking about America. It will be smitten with plagues like like Egypt, man. Back in the days, because America spiritually Egypt. Because when you when you look at um, uh, wait, let me let me make it even better. Um, Here, it already says it. America's Egyptian obelisk. Obelisk. This is the Egyptian obelisk. And it's not only in uh, in Washington, man. It's all over uh, the 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 kingdom of um of Esau, man. Egyptian symbolism in Washington and not only that here you have the dollar bill what's on the dollar bill the pyramid man showing you even more signs that America spiritually uh, Egypt man so it says behold my people is led as a uh, slakia verse 11 but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and uh, and will and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof so the plagues that was in Egypt are gonna be in America too you know now now I'm thinking about the name of the video maybe I, I'm gonna put up another name <laughs> maybe I'm gonna put up another name but y'all see um Gone. So back in wisdom of Solomon. So that proves you that America is going to be um, plagued with the plagues of Egypt, man. Because America is spiritually Egypt. So where was I? I was at um, verse 4. You know, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I, I'm going to skip to the to the nicest parts, so to speak. Verse 4. For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear. Gone. So what happened was they were in a dark room. Everything was dark. And they was being haunted by demons, man, by spirits. <laughs> so this is basically what it's speaking about, man. This is basically what it's speaking about. So let me read it again. For neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear. Come on, you can't go sitting scared in the corner. But these demons are going to fuck you up, man. These demons are going to basically rip, the, rip your heart out, man, for fear. But neither might the corner that held them keep them from fear. But noises as of waters falling down sounded up about them. So they heard noises and, you know, and sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. So these demons had heavy countenances. You know, heavy countenances. Heavy um, expressions, you know. Let me let me ghosts. Ghosts have any heavy countenances. <coughs> you know, they don't show you that much, but. They they're gonna see see it soon enough, man. They're gonna see it soon enough. Yeah, y'all know what I mean. Happy countenances. So 
visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. Uh, verse 5. No power of the fire might give them light. So you can try to put on light. It's not going to uh, uh, light up the room, man. It will not work. It's going to be extreme darkness. So extreme that you don't even know if your eyes are open or shut. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it it's it's just as dark when you close it as when you when you open it, man. But not even that is gonna prevent these demons from haunting you, man. Neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten that horrible night. That night was so horrible, man. People died from fear, man. And I'm gonna show you that in these uh, these uh, scriptures, these verses right here. Um, going on in verse ten. They died for fear. These demons were so spooky, man. They died for fear, man. Heavy countenances and, and sad visions, man. Sounds um, being uh, around them that, that basically fucked up their, their heart rhythm, man. <laughs> that they died. So going back, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air, which could of no side be avoided. So you know when you when you when you see see uh, see something in your room and you, and you and it looks like a ghost. You know, back in the days when you were small, you see something, you think it's a monster or something. You you focusing your eyes. To see that it's not what you think you see, you know. So they try to do that too. They try to deny the things that they saw around them, but it could on no side be avoided, man. It could on no side be avoided, man. These demons, even when you close your eyes, even when they close their eyes, they 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 were still being hunted, man. They were still it it was not avoidable, man. Verse eleven. Uh, no, let me go on. Uh, let me jump to verse 14. But they sleeping the same sleep that night, which was indeed intoler uh, intolerable, and which came upon them out of the bottoms of the inevitable hell. You know, these, these creatures that they saw, they was, they was not, they was not, um, uh, human, man. These were truly demons, man. And we know there is no such place as hell, man. But hell is upon the earth. And these demons are uh, are amongst us. Because they these demons are uh, helping you <laughs> think about wickedness, man. They are, they are helping you think about wickedness. And this is, a, this is a good example, this picture. About how these demons... Um, uh, want to seduce you, seducing spirits. That's what the scri scriptures speak about. Seducing spirits, uh, and they cleave on you, man. They cleave on you. If you got some some addiction or whatever, these these type of demons cleave on you. But uh, during these plagues that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sent upon the earth in the time of the Egyptians, when they didn't want to let us go. The Heavenly Father um, made these demons visual, visible, man. These demons became visible unto the eye of these uh, Egyptians, these Canaanites, Amites. <coughs> so, um, Khan, big ass demons, man, came up and, and haunted them. Verse 15. Um, out of the inevitable hell were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions you know they look monstrous man don't think these 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 demons that came upon them look looked look just like ghosts or whatever spirits no these were real demons man monstrous uh figures monstrous um creatures you know, 
and we're gonna have to ask these Edomites, these um, these heathens, <laughs> what those demons look like in the kingdom. Ask them if they was real spooked. You know, truly demons, man. Ghostly figures were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions, apparitions, and partly fainted. Their heart failing them, so their heart even stopped from fear, man. So that means they died. For a sudden fear, and not looked for, came upon them. <laughs> Amen. Verse 16. These Edomites, you see, these, these Edomites don't know what's going to come for them. Man. Need to do these jakes, man, because these demons are going to come upon Jake too, man. These demons are gonna go in the streets, go be visible for the eye, and gonna haunt your ass, man. If you're not praying unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Verse 16. So then, whosoever there fell down was straightly kept, shut up in a prison without bars. Going to verse 18. Con. Whether it were a whistling wind, or a melodious sound, a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches, or a pleasing wall of water running violently, or a terrible sound of stones cast down, or a running that could not be seen of skipping beasts, or a roaring voice of most savage wild beasts, or a rebounding echo from the hollow hollow mountains these things made them swoon for fear so they heard all all kinds of noises man even noises that you that you can't recognize man you know like for example when you're sleeping if you hear noises that you basically can um identify you're going to continue sleeping but when you hear noises that you can't identify, you're going to wake up and see what that noise was. You know, and I can speak for myself. I'm, uh, I don't sleep deep. So every, every sound that I hear can wake me up. So, but when, when basically, you know, for example, I hear, um, uh, my brother get out of his room. I hear the door. I know, okay, there's a door. So I'm not going to wake up. If I hear my dog snoring, you know, I'm not going to wake up. But if you hear something that you that's not used to the air, you're going to wake up and you basically going gonna to want to see what that is. And it can drive you crazy if you can't identify the noise, man. So these people were were so haunted, so um, uh, demonized, basically, in, in their, in their uh, physical form that um, that they died, man. Their hearts filled. Their hearts filled, man. When when these demons came, came, um, came to haunt them. And this is coming to America too, man. The plagues of Egypt, like I read. <clears throat> but I will bring them with a mighty. The second Ezra 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with the plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof. Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundations of it shall be smitten. With the plague and punishment. That Jehovah Shem Yahushai shall bring upon it. Egypt shall mourn man. Crying shall be in the streets. You're going to hear terrible voices of people being being haunted man. That's one of the plagues man. But the other plagues of, of Egypt are, are also going to come upon America man. You know, so with that, I want to give all praises, glory to the to the heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Shai. Shalom to the brothers that push this truth. Keep pushing. Stay strong. Shalom.